I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will consider how to incorporate phase shift of a cosine wave while modeling real life situations into trigonometric functions. So uh, let me sketch few cosine waves and then we will discuss. So let us say, so I will sketch actually three cosine waves and then we will discuss uh, how to write equation for these cosine waves. Normally the equation of cosine wave is y equals to cos theta and when, say, when we say that there is a phase shift in that case we could write this as f of x equals to cos of theta minus p where p is the phase shift. As you know cosine waves starts with the maximum so normally you could sketch a cosine wave kind of like this. So I'll incorporate both uh, radians and degrees in my discussion. This is maximum and that is the minimum value of minus 1 for the cosine wave. Time period is from 0 to 360 degrees or you could say 0 to 2 pi. Okay, Half of the cycle will be at 180 degrees or pi. Quarter will be at pi by 2 or 90 degrees and 3 fourths will be at 3 pi by 2 or 270 degrees. So that is one cosine wave. We say that the equation of this cosine wave is y equals to cos theta where theta is along the x-axis and that is also our axis for the wave. So this is our axis also, right? Now <laughs> If I start my wave a bit later, so let's think about it as starting the wave instead of from zero, let us say we start at uh, 90 degrees, right? In that case, it will also end 90 degrees after, is that okay? And every point in the wave will actually shift by 90 degrees. So let me draw one wave which starts at 90 instead of starting at 0 degrees with the maximum value, right? And then it will end 90 degrees after, let's say that's the center point. So let me just sketch one wave like this. Okay, so let's finish it here. So in that case, the wave actually starts at 90 and it will end at 360 plus 90 thinking that still the time period for the wave is 360 degrees, right? So the time period is 360 degrees. So in that case, 360 plus 90 is going to be this point. Let us say this point is 450 degrees, okay? So in radians, it will be starting at pi by 2 and will end at 2 pi plus pi by 2 or 5 pi by 2. Now what is the equation of this cosine wave? Now the thing is, whenever you are considering the phase shift, then we have to consider two things. One, you should consider the starting of sine wave starts at maximum. Since it starts at maximum, it has to go downwards, right? So it moves downwards. So that is what really the cosine wave is. Now for this wave, it starts at maximum, but theta value for us is not 0, but is 90. Therefore, equation of this particular wave should be what? We say that there is a phase shift of 90 degrees, right? So it starts 90 degrees after, right? So we can write this as cos of theta minus 90 degrees, right? That is one way of writing it. If you are working in radians, you could write this as cos of theta minus pi by 2 radians, correct? So that is how you write this model, this particular situation. Now, if I write theta as 90 here, for example, then we get cos of 0 and you know cos of 0 is 1. So we get this value 1, do you understand? So this equation models the situation, correct? So that is what? we should do to model phase shift. Now let's take another example. This time I'll start a bit earlier before zero for the cosine wave and let's say this is my cosine wave, right? So let me take this point as 
minus 30 degrees for example which is pi by 6 minus so of course it will end 30 degrees before since the time period we are assuming to be 2 pi or 360 degrees for these given examples so 30 minus 360 will be 330 degrees so the wave is starting at minus 30 ending at 330 right so in this case what is going to be the equation of this cosine wave since it starts earlier we'll write this as y equals to cos theta plus 30 degrees in radians it will be y equals to cos theta plus pi by 6 radians right so I hope you understand and appreciate how to incorporate the phase shift in the basic cosine formula or the model right now let me take two more examples which will really help you to model real life situation for example in Ferris wheel and all those examples will normally start at the bottom right so everybody takes a seat from the lowest position correct so let me draw one cosine wave which starts really at the bottom of the cycle let's say it is like this and it goes like this right now in this case if my amplitude let us take different amplitude this time okay if my amplitude is let us say minus 2 I mean amplitude is positive always we are keeping the axis same and time period let us keep this as 360 itself we don't want to complicate this matter since the idea is to understand phase shift okay we'll have a lot of examples with this with different amplitudes frequencies phase shift and all okay now what is going to be the equation for this cosine wave which has a maximum of 2 minimum of minus 2 and it really starts from minus 2 the minimum value and then rises remember when we are looking for a point on the cosine wave we are looking for a point which is maximum so which is this point in our case and here this maximum will be at the center which is either 180 degrees or pi radians right so one way to write this equation as is y equals to amplitude of 2 cos of so it, since the maximum is here and then the wave goes down it could be theta minus 180 degrees or you could write this also as cos 2 theta minus pi is it okay the other way is you can treat this as a reflection on x-axis then you could also write this as minus 2 cos theta so that is I think a preferred equation for most of the real life situations where the cycle begins from minimum right so it's very easy to write this in this form so my suggestion is whenever you have a real life situation where minimum is the starting point instead of having theta minus 180 which of course is minus cos theta it's better to write equation in this form so that helps you to do questions in lesser steps and make things simpler. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.